The Kimba Neo C comes in two sizes. Today, we're going to be illustrating all of these adjustments on the Kimba Neo size one seat. The big difference between the two systems is really sizing. All of the other adjustments are, are going to be the same. A little bit of preparation work is needed to grow the back height of the Kimba Neo seat. Back height growth is important so that the height of the back mirrors the child in the system. First, you wanna make sure we've loosened up the knobs for the laterals as well as the headrest so that they won't interfere with the movement of the back shell. Then we're gonna turn these clasps to disengage the tail of the back cushion from the rest of the system. I'm then going to use a four millimeter hex head tool to loosen the thread bolts to disengage the, the halves of the shell. Now we're ready to lift up on the back to get maximum range of growth. Simply tightening down those thread bolts again. And then tightening down the knobs for the laterals and the headrest. Re-engaging the rest of the tail of the back cushion means we're ready to roll. Next, we're gonna talk about some of the fabric options you can get with the Kimba Neo seat. For children with incontinence, or if you're just looking to protect the interior foam and cover more from frequent spills, you can do an incontinence cover that's Dartex. And it's basically a sleeve that covers the entire seat cushion that's easily removable and laundered. So this is great for, again, spills or children that have incontinence. The Kimba Neo C comes in a variety of colors in two fabric options. Our spacer fabric, like you see on my left, and our microfiber, which is illustrated here on the Kimba Neo seat. The spacer fabric is ideal for children that tend to run hot, have problems regulating their own internal body temperature, or for parts of the country that are warmer and more humid. It allows aeration through the seated surface and provides a healthier microclimate to the skin. The microfiber is a great option for families that are looking for a material that's going to be more repellent to fluids. Fluids should bead up on the seated surface and more easily wipe clean afterwards. Both covers are removable and machine washable for easy cleaning. All of the Kimba Neo seat covers are removable. Both the microfiber and spacer fabric are machine washable. To remove the covers, just unvelcro the Velcro tabs. Pull up on the tabs to then remove them off the laterals. Now that we've removed all the laterals for the Kimba, we're gonna remove the back pad. So there's a zipper in the back and we zip up the zipper and now we can remove the back cover over the laterals. First I'd like to point out our retractable and removable standard canopy. This is one canopy option that comes on the Kimba Neo seat. You can also opt to get the deluxe option that provides a removable back piece so that children are protected from the sun but still get that aeration of um, air circling through the system to keep them cool. This is especially important for children that can't regulate their body temperatures and tend to run hot. It also, the deluxe canopy also comes with a rain canopy that goes over the whole system to pr protect them from the elements. The Kimba frame comes with swivel front casters. To put them into a fixed caster position, you simply push out on the housing, spin the wheel, and it locks into position. 
If you're on uneven or rough terrain, sometimes you may wish to engage the caster lock swivels so that it's a little bit smoother ride and they're not fluttering over the uneven terrain. To disengage them, now you're ready to roll. Looking back here, you can see the wheel lock mechanism. Simply stepping onto the wheel lock bar engages the positive wheel hub wheel lock brakes. Lifting up with your foot is again going to disengage so we can free roll the system. The Kimbineo has standard welded transport tie downs for vehicle transport safety. And you can find them at the four corners of the frame. They're marked with a sticker for transport tie downs. Our product is ISO and Resna crash tested and approved for vehicle transport safety. Let's talk about removing the Kimbineo seat from the Kimbineo frame. If we lift up on the footrest part of the cushion, you'll note this locking mechanism that keeps our seat engaged on the Kimbineo frame. This is a safety precaution, and I would suggest every time you put the seat onto the frame that we make sure that the safety mechanism is engaged. Sliding it to the side means that now we've disengaged the seat from the frame and it would be easy for us to pull up and take the seat off. But right now, I wanna show you how to turn the seat rear-facing. Many of our families want to have a rear-facing seat so they can engage with their child and make sure that they're safe and comfortable when they're out for a stroll. So this is how I would suggest you change the seat from forward to rear-facing. First, tilt the seating system forward. This will help you later on. It'll mean gravity's working with you instead of against you. Now we're gonna lift up on that mechanism that I just showed you that we disengaged. And the seat easily removes. I'm gonna set this down so we can look together at this tilt mechanism. Over here we have something called a tilt limiter. And this is a safety precaution so that the seat doesn't tilt too far forward when you don't want it to. If we pull up on the pull pin, it will allow us to move that mechanism, which then gives us a different degree of tilt of the seat when on the frame. I'm now going to pick up the base. You'll notice the back part of the seating bracket is a hook, and the front part is a clamp that clamps on to the parallel bar bracket on the Kimbineo frame. Opening up this lever allows us to snap it onto the Kimbineo frame. Now we've put the seat in a rear facing configuration we can still actuate that tilt mechanism. And I'm going to make sure I clicked the safety mechanism on the disengagement hardware into place so that we know the seat won't disengage from the base. And now we have a rear facing seat on a Kimba. Looking closer, you'll notice these springs that make up the tension adjustable shock absorption system within the frame of the Kimbineo. Simply twisting this counterclockwise is going to tighten the suspension. The more thread you see, the firmer the ride is going to be for the child. Um, the less thread you see, the bouncier or squishier the ride might be for the child. It really comes down to how much weight is on the overall frame with the medical necessity 
uh, equipment that may be mounted on the frame, as well as the weight of the child. You get to dial it in and select the right level that's comfortable for them. Now that you can get a better look at the Kimba Neo frame, let's talk about the options and how to use them. The push handles are angle adjustable. So for taller users or shorter users, you're sure to get the right angle for you and the environment that you're pushing the child in. Closing the push handles allows you to get a little bit closer to the folding mechanism, making folding easier. Unfolding is a snap, just lifting up on those push handles. So moving down on the frame, over here we've got the tilting mechanism, and we'll show how that works with the seat a little bit later, but turning this tilting me mechanism turns the adapter that the seat snaps onto so that you can move from 10 degrees posterior to 35 deg degrees anterior tilt. You'll also notice two red pull pins on the side of the frame. Engaging those into the holes on the frame means that the tilt mechanism is no longer going to tilt. And we use these for additional safety when the system is in vehicle transport. Again, just pulling out and doing a quarter turn disengages those red pull pins and means that once again, we can tilt the seating system. While we're down here, let's talk about the additional storage bin that we provide as standard equipment with all Kimba Neo frames. It can hold up to 15 pounds of supplies. It has a Velcro flap and can easily be removed should you want to launder it. Thanks for learning more about the Kimba Neo frame. Next, we're going to be discussing the Kimba Neo seat. First, I'd like to point out the headrests. These lateral headrests are an option. They're not standard equipment on the system. For some children, they don't need additional head stability support. So for some children, you may want to opt to not get the headrest laterals. For other children that can benefit from lateral support of their head, um, these are a great option. Simply loosen the knobs found on the back of the shell Now we can move these in, or we can adjust them out, or we can adjust the angle. Going down, we've got the protraction pads for the elbows and arm positioning, in addition to the thoracic supports. The th thoracic supports are also an option on the system for children that need a little bit more lateral stability in the upper thoracic to keep their spine in good alignment as they grow. Again, these are also angle, height, and width adjustable just by loosening knobs on the back of the system. Here we've got the hip pads. These two are width and angle adjustable just by loosening knobs underneath the seated system. Going down to the foot plate, again, as children grow, you will be needing to loosen the foot plate to slide up or down, depending on the lower leg length of your child. The foot plate is angle adjustable, depending on the knee angle you need for proper positioning of the pelvis and the child. It can go a little bit acute underneath the seat, 
or it can come fully up if you're wishing to, to lay the child flat, depending on their positioning needs. Now that we've got the system spun around, you can see the recline mechanism. This easy to spin knob allows us to lay the system flat. You'll notice as the system goes flat lying that the protraction pads open up and provide some posterior support on the elbows so that the child's arms aren't falling off the side of the frame. Full flat lying is important for, again, offloading the diaphragm, allowing the lungs uh, full inhalation and exhalation, and also assists in um, lung, lung drainage. The Kimbineo system can be folded for transport with or without the seating. We already showed you how to fold the Kimbineo frame by itself, Let's discuss how to fold the Kimbin Neo with the Kimbit Neo seat on it. First, you wanna make sure that the push handles are at the right angle to make it over the top of the headrest. We're now gonna reach down, pull up on the hand triggers, and it's gonna come all the way around the frame and snap down. You'll notice that the Kimbin Neo seat, when folded on the Kimbin Neo frame, stays high and dry above the ground. This is especially important for regions that snow or have rain to make sure that your system stays clean for your child. Unfolding the system is as simple as lifting up on the push handles. Thanks for joining me to learn more about the Kimbineo seat on the Kimbineo frame from Otto Bach. The Kim and Neo seat comes with a variety of trunk and positioning, chest and pelvic harness options. Two point harnesses, five point, four point, zip up vests, and many more. Today we've got the five point harness mounted on our Kim and Neo seat. For families, disengaging the belt is as easy as pulling down on the red button and the clips disengage from the system. You can then easily remove your child from the system. To re-engage the mechanism, you put the buckles back together and snap back into the housing, and you're ready to go. This is our five-point harness for the Kimbineo seat.